फ्रेंड्स राधिका रवि कुमारिया इन दिस टोरियल विल सी कि हाउ वी कैन राइट अ प्रोग्राम इन पी एल सी इक्वल फॉर फैक्टोरियल सो दिस इज़ एन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन दैट इज़ यूजली आस्ड वन अवर यू आर अटेंडिंग इंटरव्यूज ऑन पी एल सी इक्वल और एज अ सीक्वल डेवलपर एज अ फ्रेशर मेनली एज अ फ्रेशर बिकॉज दीज आर द वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन दैट इज़ आस्ड बाई द इंटरव्यूअर जस्ट टू टेस्ट हाउ मच ऑफ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज यू गाइज हैव so when you are attending as a fresher make sure you will be learning all these programming language on um, like like how to write uh, on a factorial or fibonacci series or the prime number then um, you know uh, the largest number uh, between the three values all those stuff it's very simple so you can go through it and also i have already made a video on fibonacci series so you can check it out in my uh, videos list so now we'll just we'll just move on and we'll see how we'll write a program on factorial so first of all the factorial is nothing but uh, when i say what is, is the factorial of 3 then what you guys need to do is you need to just do the multiplication when i say 3 it's nothing but just keep say 3 into 2 into 1 till the number ends you know so 3 into 2 into 1 is nothing but 3 into 2 is 6 so 6 is going to be our factorial coming to the factorial of 4 what is the factorial of 4 it's 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so 4 3 is and 4 into 3 into 2 that is going to be around 24 so that's how you will be finding the factorial of a specific number that's been provided by the user so we'll see how we can you know achieve this by rpl sql program okay first we need to say i mean we need to declare you the declare section you need to you know write a certain i mean you should um, declare few variables so first i'm starting the declare section and here i need some numbers like uh, sorry some variables like i'll be taking three variables here one variable is going to take the value from the user and the second variable is going to do the calculation that will be that we will be using in the begin section where the logic main logic is going to be present and our third variable is going to be a temporary variable that is going to just you know carry the number that has been provided by our user and then you know transferring it to the main logic variable all those things so as the program moves you'll be able to understand it so first variable is going to be a num variable so this is of a number type and uh, it's going to take the value from our uh, user so that is num and um, next is going to be a variable called fact that's mainly used for the logic and i'm going to initialize this variable to 1 because uh, we all know that you know the end of the each factorial is going to be 1 so i'm going to initialize this fact variable into is equal to 1 and then i'm going to use a temporary variable that's also is of number type these are the three important variables that we need to use in our factorial uh, program then coming to the begin section in begin section i'm going i'm just going to you know uh, transfer the value whatever is given by our user to our temp variable so you can see it it's easy to understand then i'm going to start with the while loop here and i'm going to check whether this num variable is um, greater than 0 if it is greater than 0 then only we'll be able to proceed and do some uh, calculation or else just the while loop can just exit and you can exit the program as well then looping it so what exactly the logic is going to say fact equal to fact into number because we are going to calculate like do the multiplication of each number right then i'm going to decrement this number value by 1 we'll see how this works i'll explain you very clearly about this, about this once our program is done so here dbms underscore output dot put underscore line i'll just simply mention fact the factor of the number then end this loop okay so just let me say 3 or uh, maybe i'm doing some mistake right here um let me just you know clear this off sorry and uh, paste it here okay so our number for 3 you can see the factorial of um, the number 3 uh, is nothing but 6 right 
then again um, I'm just going to give the factor of 4 so it's 24 okay so this is how the um, the logic works so how this works we'll see that so how this logic works is okay see uh, when for example if you're giving the number value as 3 then for initially the it will be checking whether the number is greater than 0 right our number value is nothing but what 3 because user has entered 3 <coughs> sorry so 3 is greater than 0 yeah so this will be getting into the loop and what happens is initially our fact value is given as 1 you can see here so 1 into 3 that is number value is 3 so 1 into 3 is going to be uh, 3 right so 3 will be stored in this fact value and uh, our num minus uh, 1 is nothing but 3 3 minus 1 is going to be 2 so 2 will be stored in the num value then end loop that means again it will go and check the value now what is our num value our num value as you can see it here it is sorry as you can see it here the num value is 2 so 2 is greater than uh, 0 yes so it will get inside the loop and then again fact of fact into num so our fact value is 3 as you can see here and our num value is 2 so what it will do is 3 into 2 that is 6 right so 6 will be stored in a fact and then it will come to the next line that is num so num as of now is nothing but it's uh, 2 so 2 minus 1 is going to be 1 right so again it will uh, end the loop and then again it will go back and check what is the num now uh, it's 1 so 1 is greater than 0 so now uh, it will check for 1 so 1 is greater than 0 yes it will again come in and then do uh, our fact value is 6 here and num value is 1 so 1 is nothing but uh, 6 into 1 it's going to be 6 again then num is nothing but 1 1 minus 1 it's going to be 0 again it will end loop again uh, it will come back to the while loop and check whether 0 is greater than 0 no that uh, condition is uh, remained as false so it will co uh, come entirely out of the loop and print our factorial so our factorial of uh, 3 is nothing but what it is 6 as you can see fact is holding the value 6 so this is the factorial for the uh, factor of 3 is nothing but 6 so this is how it works for other logic as well so you can try it for the larger number and as well as you know work uh, you can work on it and see how it works so this is what is about factorial hope you guys have um, understood and have enjoyed the tutorial so keep watching my tutorial and i'll uh, come up with um, other new tutorials as soon as possible and thank you very much for watching